Hello everybody, welcome to my show, Big Because I Can with Rizan. Previously, we spoke to Prabhuji, talking about Krishna, his childhood, his naughtiness, friendship, how we can mend our relations, bonding, and much more. If you have not watched it, watch it. It's in the description box below. Now, let us start our insightful journey with Prabhuji. Let's go! So, Prabhuji, bullying has become very common nowadays. Both children and adults go through it. Why? Is it related, a little related to hatred? Yeah. You can just give me one example. What is exactly you would like to say about the bullying? Um, how I mean that um, one uh, well actually it's a little hard to explain but I'll try my best. No. So bullying how I mean that uh, for example like if the friend if a friend is um, getting jealous as you had said then uh, sometimes to make that other person feel low mm. uh, he um, he starts saying uh, he starts making him feel low oh the other person's uh, abusive words you are saying to the others it's like the bullying is actually common because what the people would like to show how I am excellent in others, I'm, how I am unique. But we can see in a whole uh, nature, nature teaches us many things. Indeed. In nature, the human beings cannot claim that I am a unique person. I am one of the unique person. The way the, the birds sing, we are not that's why our the famous singer Lata Mangeshkar ji has been called as a what? Gaan Kokila. <laughs> we cannot sing like a Kokil. This is like the comparison is with the bird. They are far excellent. Whenever we are talking about the strength, if the elephant is there in front of us, his strength is more than us. By that way, the bullying, like the people, whenever they feel that how am I excellent than others, we can we can see in a open nature whether I am. I. We start comparing with our juniors. We start comparing, or we we say that I am more more unique than this group of people. But when we go out. In a Pune, we are we are clear. We, are, we may be feeling that I am a Pune Shri, or I am having a muscular body, or something like that. Yeah. Then go in a Maharashtra level. There you will find some more challenges. Mm -hmm. Explain that is like so many people are there. Then go clear above that India level, where we are staying. It is very small world, and we feel that I am more good than others so better we can open our mind eyes and see the world how am i very very small there is like one story comes in the mahabharata dronacharya asked yudhishthir and dronacharya asked to duryodhan go and find out uh, a powerful person than you and give him the chain or the award and Yudhishthir Maharaj he he went outside and he saw that this is he is powerful he is powerful everybody is powerful than him. even though the Yudhishthir Maharaj was not having the inferiority complex I am just would like to mention it in before only he was not that uh, like the negativity uh, 
I am nothing. I'm, it is not like that. He was saying that everyone is excellent than me. And Duryodhan's mindset was what? He says that this chain is for me only. I am the perfect man. Because Arjun, he is very weak. Yudhishthir, he cannot fight with me. Bhim, I can defeat. So many others. He says that this person is not having that much excellent than me. This is not. And the rare things were like when they came, both of them came back. And uh, Dronacharya asked that, you please tell me who is more, more powerful than you. Duryodhana says that myself is only the person who is more powerful than myself. Nobody can be powerful. And Yudhishthira Maharaj says that everyone is excellent than me. I am the lowest one. So the mindset we have to change. If we change the mindset, we can learn many things. Whenever we are saying that I am content, I am full, we cannot pour the water inside the glass. Whenever we say that I have to learn many things from every person in my life, I can learn. From my daddy, I can learn. From my mother, I can learn. From my father, I can learn. From my friends, I can learn. This world is full of learning from many. Even if your maid can teach you, even if so many, like the beggar, beggar in the street can teach you. By that, you will become humble. A person can become humble and that person will not do a bullying to others. Hare Krishna. Um, well, I also recall a story which I had also read. So, it looks like we are sharing stories here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, once, um, it's actually not about uh, Krishna, it's actually about um, there was a farmer. So one day he came across a very sad man. He, he felt that um, that I don't have any powers. I, I don't, I'm not even strong enough. I don't, I, I'm the weakest in the world. So then the farmer comes to the man and he says that I have one magic trick. But if you don't, do not lie, if you if you lie, I mean that uh, the magic power will go away from you instantly. Mm-hmm. So then the sad man uh, was very happy that oh I'm getting a power. So he said yes yes I won't lie. So farmer told him the secret, and after that um, now uh, the secret was. A magic spell uh, to grow the most tastiest mango, tastiest mangoes. Mm. So then, uh, so then he goes around. He chose a bear tree and said the spell. Successfully, a lot of beautiful mangoes came. He ate one, and it was very, very sweet. Then. Later, everybody in the world got to know that, oh, wow, he has a power. So then the king calls him and tells him that who taught you this magic power? If, you're, if you don't want to say, then you can say it in my ear. So then the, so the sad man, uh, he said that um, I learned it from a magician because he was too ashamed to say that I learned it from a father. Farmer. So then, when the king told him to do it, he said the magic spell, but did not work, as he lied. It's a lie. So what was? So how you mean that? Um, what he thought that he was the lowest. He uh, he thought that. So then uh, he thought he was the lowest, but as he got the magic power, he started thinking more that he was more stronger, he, he can do anything. But then he felt bad that, oh, it's a farmer. If it was from a rich person or a magician, then it would create more sense. Yeah. But from a farmer, it wouldn't. 
so that's why he lied because he wanted to think he wanted the king to think that um that uh, superiorness comes that oh i've been taught from this great man so in this story he is like as you mentioned one should not feel very low when to with whom we are getting the knowledge this is where the kamal grows lotus grows where it grows in the mud in the mud it and uh, whoever gives us the knowledge that person is we call it as that the guru one should not check what is his profession the guru means who gives the knowledge and the knowledge helps us to grow by acting with the knowledge the understanding comes and understanding gives the wisdom to live in this world if i am not knowing how to grow the vegetables and some farmer comes and says that this is the way we have to grow the vegetables so the farmer is the guru for me on this field why should i become a, a simple farmer is really uh, teaching me i am such a saintly person no we can find out the guru everywhere we have our eyes ears has to be open that person will learn more or else he will be having the narrow mind whoever teaches whoever helps us whoever gives the wisdom is the with, guru with the folded hand we have to respect him and say is that thank you because of you i learned this we can we offer our respects to whom those who are teaching us we offer our respect to our dadi also because she tells some stories stories of wisdom we offer our respect to mother who is the first guru we offer our respect to father and one should offer the respect in a saintly person who gives the spiritual knowledge the gyan the gyan of the gita that's why we offer our respects our pranam one should not feel very lowly are who is there in a in a hindi it is it, it is one saying that one should not ask a past of a sadhu sadhu pehle kya tha wo kisi ne puchna nahi chahiye who is a valmiki who was a valya koli the hunter but by experiencing the the divinity in his life by the grace of narad muni he became not a he he became valmiki and valmiki has written ramayana that's why we are able to read so that's why we whenever we start the ramayana we pray to valmiki muni whoever it is the guru is guru and one should not feel shame that this person is my guru. no guru is a guru whoever it might be yeah that is a very beautiful learning prabhu ji hari krishna it's very beautiful i must say it's actually great so how many gurus are there in your life but i can say everybody um, every teacher everybody my father is a guru my mom is a guru my school teachers are a guru um and you are my biggest guru one of my biggest guru oh thank you hari krishna <laughs> you give me such beautiful heartful learnings so you are one of the biggest guru in my life thank you in my life ac bhakti vedanta swami shri rupad my spiritual master is holy nasar adhana maharaj and many others my friends my mother my father 
ऑलवेज दे आर टीचिंग मी हेल्पिंग मी दे आर माई गुरुज इवन माई फ्रेंड्स एंड कलीग्स दो आर वर्किंग विथ मी दे आर माई गुरुज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्रभु जी समटाइम्स वेर एवर माई डैड इज इन बैड मूड इज रियली डाय कैन अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग हिज फ्रेंड्स आर द बेस्ट वन टू हेल्प बिकॉज अ फ्रेंड इज ऑलवेज देर फॉर यू ऑलवेज देर टू चेयर अस अप एंड दे आर ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द ग्रेट गुरु इन आर लाइफ बिकॉज दे ऑलवेज कीप अस काम एंड हैप्पी एंड एंड a true friend um if the person is in a very sad mood they cheer him up and another thing they'll help him in his work explain like arjun he, and krishna they won't they won't um, uh, they won't do everything for him they won't say that you have to do this you have to do this they'll explain him the answer but all the writing and all the other work the uh, the person has to do the the person you are telling the story of arjun and krishna to me <laughs> in a different way arjun and krishna was the best friend and for arjun krishna became a chariot driver but he says that you have to fight that i will not Krishna says that I will not fight for you. You have to fight. I, I will. I will give guide you. Power. I will give. No, he has not given the power. He says that I will be your chariot driver, and I I will guide you. I will motivate you. So that is But a Krishna. But you have to do the work. Yeah. He says that yathe chasi tatha kuru. I spoke many things to you, but whatever you would like to do, do it. Whatever you want to be understood. the counselor and the person the friend philosopher and guide krishna became this three for arjun friend a philosopher and guide and one should one should get a person like krishna or krishna himself that is our motive that one day i can be one can one day i can become a friend to krishna or a servant of krishna nice <laughs> very nice <laughs> um prabhu ji um sometimes this um actually once this has happened to me uh in um one situation my uh, friend my very close one uh, was bullying me so uh, so this question i would really like to ask that how can we overcome it how can we like not feel sad not feel bad that oh my close one is bullying me then who says like that you can just see that whole world would like to become a remote control for of our life mm. whenever we are operating a tv we don't like that we change it we change it we change it so our mode why we should give it to others hand i want you make a uh, very sad now the channel has to be changed <laughs> he is triggering one button and your uh, mood is changing he was happy some moments back and after that he spoke he spoke something and you became sad so he is becoming a remote control of your life He is changing your channels. <laughs> One should not give the remote control to others' hand. One should give a remote control in the Lord's hand. Oh Lord, you would like to change my channel? Okay, all right, but not others. One can be happy, whatever the state of mind one can be, and try to make others happy. We also should not become a remote control of others' life. i will teach him now he is very happy now i will make him sad i will speak some harsh words this dead inch ki jo jeeva hoti hai na the stung can break the bones <laughs> always we don't fight we are not feasting each others like that how by by one dead inch ki tang 
we speak something and the person is disheartened so we have to control our tongue also there is one shloka comes in vacho vegam manasa krodha vegam jeuha vegam udaro pastha vegam etan vegan yo vishaye tathira sarva mahiman prutvim sashishya we have to control these urges vacho speaking urge manasa mind mind is always saying that this is bad this is good this person is bad let me teach a lesson to him control jeuha jeeva means we always like to eat something good so these all the vegas these all the urges we have to control ourselves one should, one should not be in that mood to, to teach a lesson to others or make others disheartened a saintly person is not by the ropes saintly person is not by the dress saintly person with the thought processes what he is having so whenever we are in the mood of teaching others a lesson we have to calm down ourselves we have to focus on our aims and objectives our goals pray to krishna chant his name calm down and by that way one can teach a good lesson that even if you would like to disturb me i am not at all disturbed give us good smile to that person hari krishna so wonderful because he is trying to make us that person is also teaching us that i am using wrong words wrong deeds wrong gestures to you still you are not disturbed yeah that is a challenging situation he is he is putting a provoking situation in our mm. life so who is a, who is a saint the saint means the person who digests the most provoking situation in one's life and answers very calmly coolly successfully that way it is there mm. i i quite enough understood um prabhu ji this question quite um, i quite i don't really understand this question but why do we get angry whenever if something doesn't happen our way we easily get very annoyed anger how it spells a n g e r you just add one d <laughs> anger b a n g e r anger is one syllable start of danger so anger in as per the gita it is been mentioned that dhyayato vishayan pumsa sangha sesho bijayate sangha sanjayate kama kama krodh ho bijayate when we are unsatisfied with our aims desires then we become angry so better one should not have that goal set as is like extra ambitious one can be ambitious certainly one has to be ambitious for the goals but there has to be a b plan a plan is to achieve this if not then what is about the b plan krishna tells about the b plan says that always making a plan before making a plan you should be ready with the b plan because a is not successful you will become angry be ready with the b plan by that you will be understanding that and this world is not for that everything will be uh, uh, as per our as per our wish hmm. this world is not for that this world teaches that you are not a master you are not a master of the world are we if i say that in a, a summer season i want the sabji of the winter season whether i will be getting it that is not been produced now it is a different case the people do uh, such such researches it is useful it is useless because that particular season vegetables will be nourishing for that particular uh, uh, for that uh, season only mm. 
so that way we have to grow that this is the anger how we can uh, conquer we can say that everything i will not be getting in my life that's why i always say to the parents that you don't give everything your kids want or else that person will not understand that person will become a duryodhana because duryodhana whatever he wanted his you father blindly gave it you want this take it you want this take it you want this take it but the pandavas were not the same case they were not the same case whatever they wanted always they didn't got it so that's why they understood that very beautiful hari krishna very that is a great learning and like you said duryodhana yes he got everything he wanted um i um, actually i uh, had a book which uh, gave a uh, gave a story of mahabharat but in a, a good way so uh, um i don't know why but um, i think um, i recall that uh, duryodhana uh, was uh, blind no dhritarashtra was blind ah in fact both of them were blind <laughs> dhritarashtra was physically blind and uh, duryodhana was the blind of his ambitions he was blind by his own uh, surrounding he was not able to see who is who when uh, krishna came uh, in front of him he says that he is a mayavi he is a magical person he is not a god the god is standing in front of you and you are not able to see then who are you blind only <laughs> so you are right duryodhana was also blind and dhritarashtra was blind well <laughs> that is good i do agree um uh prabhu ji whenever we do any social service or if we do any um good thing then we always feel happy content satisfied why is that because you are growing person who is growing that person will think about others not oneself first and whenever we are thinking of others first then the satisfaction will, will be there and another thing is that social service beyond that there is a spiritual service we are thinking about the social service means what opening an hospital giving a water facility for the needy many other things but it is all for the body isn't it yes this is for the body to maintain the body and uh, geeta starts with what i am not the body i am the soul something is there inside that i am that is soul atma and whenever one works on the atma level and he serves and he sees everyone on that platform i am not seeing you i don't want to see you as a body you are a small kid <laughs> very good beautiful charming oh. and if i am seeing that oh i can serve him i can help him and somebody else who is not that much beautiful charming cute like you no no then then uh, i will be saying that no no i don't want to i don't want to help him so i am seeing the body then it is body is categorizing oneself as beautiful charming cute handsome and other as not beautiful ugly very petty but like that so a spiritualist do a social service spiritual social service on terms of atma whoever you are whatever the gender you are whatever the nationality you are whatever the language you are speaking i will be speaking about the god in center krishna in center and i would like to give you the krishna to everyone so that is better than the social social service social service is what it is really giving the bodily necessities and the spiritual service is what whatever it is giving it is the spiritual necessities of life and by the spiritual service only 
one can make others very happy for a long time for eternity suppose you are giving me food to eat i will be hungry i will be eating a food after 2 hours 4 hours of digestion i will be hungry again so what it is for 2 hours you did a, a service to me so better i can uh, do some service which will be there with you always or with me always that is the spiritual part that that's atma the krishna says that vasam si jirnani yatha vihaya navani grahanati naro karani tatha sharirani vihaya jirnani anyanya sanyatna we are not we are this body like the body grows and thus like we are changing our dresses we throw our torn uh, dresses in a dump the same way at the end of our life at the end where we will be meeting a death this body will be burned to the ashes but atma will be traveling from one body to another and that we have to end that we have to end that one 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 time in a one lifetime we have to do a devotional life in such a way that i cannot come back again and take this body i don't want the body of indian indian jacket now i am wearing a indian jacket british with british color we are always having uh, like the south indians the north indians their complexion is varying but it is almost in a british shade only wheat wheat color but uh, americans they are very they are very fair so they are wearing a white jacket mm. as a body <laughs> so south africans they are wearing a black jacket and on the jacket we are painting we are we are saying i am hindu i am muslim i am this i am that if i am wearing a pagadi i am saying i am sikh so this is all the bodily things we are having but the real thing as per the uh, as per the sanatan dharma it is that we are the soul so whenever i am seeing you i should not see that you are hindu or muslim or whoever you are i should see that you are a soul by that i can connect you with the lord and eternally in a, in a, in a eternity i can make a sad person into the happiness by saying that there is one person who is standing with the flute he is calling us his name is krishna and he is saying that oh you are my lost kid please come i am waiting i am waiting for you so for everyone it is there so whether he is hindu muslim sikh isai whatever like so that is i feel spiritual service is more higher higher dimension higher platform than the social service Krishna. Hare Krishna. Very, very, very nice. I have to say so. Um. So, uh, first, I thought that social service will always, um, will always stay for a lot of time. Will always make somebody uh, very happy that uh, remembering a person like that. But now I realize that um, there are spiritual services much more better, and um, it can help people more. Um, so, um, me and my family, we uh, go to an orphanage, a uh, BBJS. Um, the first day uh, we came there, we uh, wanted to make them feel so happy, special. So. uh frankly we felt special instead that their love and kindness is immense and their love and kindness will always be unforgettable it will always stay in the heart i do remember one incident when i was 6 uh, years old it was actually a part of my life the, the most the most best thing that ever happened to me the um, uh, the greatest miracle 
so uh, when i was 6 years old um me and my family uh, we cooked home cooked meals for uh, the family suffering with covid uh, my mom and nani shrok delicious food my mom and dad arranged them uh, the food in boxes i used to garnish them with coriander fold the tissue papers and carefully stuff them in the box and write messages god bless you with good health on each meal box um before the packing we used to offer it to god that whoever ate it would get that benefit would get the blessing from god and love from our family uh after packing me and my father we used to go to deliver the meal box um as my father would deliver it at the door step um i would make sure to sanitize their their hands it was such an enriching experience and during that i'd also learned a shlok from bhagavad gita wow, very good <laughs> uh, which stayed with me so please allow me to say it and i frankly apologize if i do any mistake no no go on go on <laughs> okay, thank you यदा यदा ही धर्म से ग्लानिर भवती भारत अभ्युत्थान धर्म से तदात्मा शूजाम्याहम परित्राणय साधुना हाँ परित्राणय साधुनम विनाशाय च दुष्कृत धर्म संस्थापनाथार्य संभवामी युगे युगे फर्स्ट वेन आई लर्न डेट आई कैन से दैट धर्म धर्म the uh, dharm it was uh, quite hard to say for me so it took a lot of time but soon i got it at the end so as i got it um uh, we all felt connected and felt apt for the situation we were in um it was uh, we also interpreted that the supreme power is within us and we need to awaken it with the act of love and kindness um i also do know the translation in english it is that um, whenever humanity declines and evil takes over i manifest myself from age to age to destroy the wicked the evil and strengthen the mankind the good so very good as again it was a very good experience we all had a beautiful one and always in the heart <laughs> um the, well um i have uh, one question it quite um it quite questions me or it always stays in me and it always i always think about it Why is the talk between Arjuna and Krishna so important? Why? It was like Arjuna and Krishna they are talking about their duties. Arjuna was in a glani. It is yada yada hi dharmasya. Yes. Glani the bhavarti bharata. So the glani means what? The busyness whenever we are clearly getting a sleep. or we would like to take a nap and the dharma dharma is glani glani is happy so the arjuna was also getting some glani as was like what i should do always we are also having in the same same situation we are in the same foot of the arjuna yes what i should do what is my uh, occupational duties what is my duties to the society what is my duties towards my uh, our community many others are there that we are we are forgetting and our one fm is only going on w i i f m is always active the antenna is always active w i i f m what is that what is in it for me <laughs> nothing else everything after that i will be speaking or whenever the deal comes what is in it for me whenever somebody comes with some work what is in it for me how i will be beneficial 
This not dad. There are four varanas and four ashramas. They have to do their duties according to their ashram and dharmas. So the Krishna is telling that first in the first six chapters. Whether we are the Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. It is not by the caste. It is by the nature. Chatur Varnim Maya Srishtam. Guna Karma Vibhagasha. It is by whatever the qualities and whatever the duties you are having. As per that you are being noted as a Brahmana, Kshatriya or Vaishya or Shudra. Nowadays the people in general they are talking about the Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. That are as per their caste. As per their Seminical lineage or the cause or as per their birth. It is not. So Arjuna forgot about that. And what? As per the Kshatriya duty, he has to protect the citizens. Hmm. He has to fought a war. He says that I cannot. And who were there, the opposition? If the police says that I will not kill a person who has done some, uh, he has killed somebody, the, like the person who is accused who has killed somebody, I will not punish if the police says that. Then where is the law and order in whole society? Kshatriya has to set in law and order in society. So Arjuna uh, was in a position with whom Duryodhana, what what things he has done? In a situation like a Draupadi was in, Draupadi was planned by the Duryodhana and party to strip naked. Whatever it is happening in Manipur now, I don't want to say more things in there. If such things are there, always happening in a whole society and the police says that I will not I will not uh, chastise him, I will not punish him and who will? The Krishna says that it is your duty Arjuna come on fight whether it is your kins and kinsmen whether they are your own party people whether they are your own brothers and grand grandfather no kill them Teach them a lesson. Second part of the Kali Gita, where Krishna talks about uh, higher dharma, paro dharma. It is called as a paro dharma. First six, this is like the Gita is of 18 chapters. First six chapters about the duties of the karma. The next six chapters about uh, paro dharma. Why everybody is suffering? Why everybody is not happy in this world? Because they are not knowing me. Me means Krishna is saying that. I am the Supreme Person. I am the Bhagwan. They are not worshipping me. So if you if you do this thing, you offer your work to me, Karmanne Vadi Gana Se, Ma Hale Shukadajan, Ma Karma Fal Hetur, Ma Te Sangasti, A Karmani. What you have, what you have to do? You have to do your duties and offer it to me. Me means Krishna is saying to me. It is called as a devotional service karma yoga in action. And more intimately you can work, work with me. More intimately you can do a devotional part to me. That is called as the bhakti yoga. Offer me a patram pushpam phalam tolyam yome bhakti aparachati. So Krishna is teaching how to worship me. How to worship Krishna. That is the most important part of the life Krishna taught through Arjuna to us. Arjuna is a medium. In, in Maharashtra, there is one saying, I take a pardon from you, it was like I am just saying some Marathi saying, Leki bole sune lage. If the mother-in-law would like to teach a lesson to a daughter-in-law, she will not directly speak. She will speak through the daughter. Mother-in-law will talk to the daughter. You don't know how to do these things. 
and a daughter in law will understand oh, it is for me only it is not for <laughs> it is not for her so the same way krishna is tricking us that i am speaking to arjuna but not directly to arjuna i am speaking to you all why are you people not not worshiping me there is a way to worship me and be happy and peaceful in the heart what is the goal of our life the goal of our the goal of our life is not to stay in this world which is called as material world go back to god and come to my own place where i can embrace you all who don't want to get embraced by krishna everybody would like to get embraced by krishna only so that is the second lessons he is saying and in the conclusion in a uh, third section of the gita 13 to 18 he is speaking about what action plan one has to be so that way it is very essential for every one to understand that to get rid of wii fm and to activate the fm of krishna krishna service <laughs> that way one can everybody that's why it is a open challenge for everyone so like those who are those through through this uh, program those who are hearing this thing, they can do one simple thing in their life every day they can chant the holy name become more intimate to krishna talk about their talk their own problem to krishna and say that i am at this moment i am miserable but i know that if i am in connection with you i will be happy like the way like one day one person was very mm, miserable you know like the covid time but he did some seva to the uh, to the humanity and one fine day a pm of india prime prime minister of india called him i'm really happy that you served the humanity and uh, i would like to meet you i would like to call you to the pm of pm office he started speaking to many that day he was very sad when he got a phone call he was speaking to many and says that pm of india called me i am going to to meet pm it is a, it is about the pm one day if krishna calls us and says that you have done your part you have done a devotional life my bhakti bhakti jordan i would like to meet you and embrace you what will be the happiest moment we cannot imagine also so that we are looking for the devotional life is that to serve krishna get happiness that krishna has explained in thorough in the gita so that's why it is very important talk everybody in this world is not happy krishna says that i have made this whole world and i am mention and i just start on that says that dukhalayam ashashvatam nobody will be happy in this world and it is full of uncertainties so that's why one should know that how to become happy how to know krishna more for that we have to understand the talk between the arjuna and krishna who wow. so that you must have understood hari krishna hari krishna that that i am speechless i have nothing to say um all i can say it's very interesting to know about the bhagavad gita um so um Uh, whenever the bhagavad gita is quite amazing indeed uh, i can give us a lot of answers um but the things which you said it felt more of more better than the bhagavad gita i'm sure of that <laughs> yeah it is a it's a compliment so thank you for that <laughs> <laughs> 